Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good by the grace of Almighty Allah, inshallah. So, this is mm, the vlog of Safa and Marwa, uh, the blessing of Safa and Marwa. And you can see the nature beauty uh, before we are going to Masjid al Haram. Uh, you can uh, feed the birds, mashallah, the birds are so beautiful in here, the pigeons. You can buy the food for them and you can um, uh, spread them to feed them actually. So, so uh, this is Safa and Marwa. We are going ahead towards the um, Safa mountain. So the uh, story behind the Safa and Marwa mountain is uh, the provisions exhausted that uh, Hajar Bivi alayhi salam eventually ran out of food and water and could no longer breastfeed Ismail alayhi salam. She thus ran back and forth seven times between Safa and Marwa hoping to find water to make her search uh, easier and faster she went alone having the infant on the ground so therefore um, in following the islamic um, uh, footsteps of our prophet sallallahu and the doings whenever we muslim do the umrah we uh, ran uh, for safa and marwa seven times uh, during these hilly areas where, which are very mashallah um, been built very nicely nowadays uh, in a very um, uh, well mannered because in the olden days it was really uh, difficult for the hajis uh, especially when they do the umrah uh, it was it was really hot the facilities are different now um, though it is a tough um, you need very good strength to do umrah because you need to walk 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 so i would suggest to all my sisters and brothers brothers and sisters that uh, before coming to umrah make sure that you are well uh, have the ability to um, have the good strength and the ability to walk uh, at least daily 10,000 steps or 15,000 steps that will make uh, practice whenever you come before coming to Umrah and health wise you should be very good uh, as well to perform the um, the Umrah and the and the blessings of the Almighty, whatever has been upon you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah for everything. So the uh, green light point is basically signifies, especially for men, uh, during this point, it is a sunnah for men only to run between the two markers uh, in in Safa, uh, when you start Safa, because this is what was done by the Prophet um uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam blessing and peace be upon him and the comp companions may allah be peace with him after uh, uh, with them and after him so uh, this is how we have to run the man have to run not the woman during this uh, point of the green lights under the green lights whenever you're doing performing safa and marwa tawafs so i hope uh, you, this kind of uh, information would help for the new hajis or the whoever ha doesn't have knowledge about this one uh, i hope you guys are uh, i'm not a scholar but i'm trying to give some information from my uh, experience i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like to watch more of this uh, which i'm going to post in the coming videos as well hope to uh, hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching allah face via manila